instead of having to download photo editing software to your computer like Photoshop or GIMP. If you're the type of person that prefers to edit your photos online inside of your favorite web browser, I'm going to show you the top five photo editors that you can use for free online. And we're starting right now. Coming in at number five is Be Funky, which is great for those of you with limited experience editing photos. It includes the basic tools to easily boost your image quality. In addition to their photo editor, Be Funky also has a collage maker and a designer tool set for graphic designers. When you launch Be Funky, all the tools are located along the left. While some are included with their free version, those marked with the star will require that you upgrade to their paid version. In the Edit Essentials, Color is a great place to start for enhancing your image. There are other tool sets that you can play around with, including the ability to add text. When you're done editing your photo, here at the top, it can be saved to your computer, Be Funky, and Google Drive along with the ability to export your image to Facebook, Dropbox, Pinterest, and Twitter. If you need those additional features locked behind the paywall, Be Funky will cost you $6.99 per month or run you about $4.99 a month if billed annually. And the number four spot is the Photor Photo Editor. Just like some of the others mentioned in this video, it has a separate collage and design maker. It offers a simple, easy to use interface with the basic editing features included, along with some that are more advanced. While Photor does offer more tools than our number five pick, some are only available to pro users. They'll be marked with a diamond icon. Using a pro feature will place a watermark on your photo. The ability to use a dark theme while editing is a cool feature. To switch to the dark theme, go to settings in the lower left and select darker. That will make the interface easier on your eyes. If you upgrade to Photor Pro to unlock all of the features, pricing is $39.99 per year or $8.99 per month. Coming in at number three is Pixlr, which in previous years would have been number one or number two on this list, but they're going through a transformation right now. I'll quickly explain. Their fully featured Pixlr editor and the easier to use Pixlr Express web apps both run using Adobe Flash. With Flash slowly being replaced with the newer HTML5 standard, Pixlr had made the decision to discontinue these apps when Flash is no longer supported. Pixlr X replaces Pixlr Express, while Pixlr Editor gets replaced with Pixlr Pro, which costs $5 per month. Pixlr X and Pro are both available right now. With the expected retirement of the Flash-based apps and Pixlr Pro not being free, the only editor of these four I can consider for this video is Pixlr X. In terms of useful features for people wanting a no-fuss photo editor, Pixlr X is the best I've used. All the necessary tools are located on the left to resize, crop, adjust the brightness and colors, add filters and effects, a drawing and text tool, add overlays and borders, and you can insert another image into your photo. In the runner-up spot at number two is iPicky, which also has a separate collage maker and graphic design tool set. It's completely free with all of their advanced features included at no extra cost. With iPicky, you'll find most of the basic and advanced tools you would ever need. The other tool sets available include photo effects, retouch, you can work with layers to add photos, text, stickers, and create shapes, painting tools, frames, and textures. If the user interface is too bright for you, clicking on the light bulb in the lower left lets you toggle between a light and dark theme. The only downside to iPicky are the saving options, which are limited to JPEG and PNG. Other than that, it's a fantastic photo editor. Before we get to the number one pick, here are four free online photo editors that just missed making our top five. The Adobe Photoshop Express Online Editor offers the most basic of features and only supports JPEG files, but if you only need to make minor changes, it might work for you. Polar Online Photo Editor is worthwhile even with many of its features locked behind a paywall and less than desirable user interface. 
At least it lets you export images in JPEG, PNG, and TIFF, which is more than I can say for most free online photo apps. Ribbit is another one with free basic features that requires an upgrade to premium to use the advanced tools. On both slow and high-powered machines we tested, the responsiveness switching tabs seemed slow, but on the bright side, you can switch between a dark and light theme, albeit slowly. And there's Google Photos with a limited feature set to make a few quick changes. In the top spot, coming in at number one, is Photopea. With a high learning curve, it offers many of the same features as Photoshop and GIMP, making it a great free online alternative to those programs. All of the features are included for free. You'll find the primary tools along the left, with others located in the menu bar. On the right, it even supports working with layers. If you want to change the look of Photopea, go to More in the menu bar, then Theme. It's currently set to black, your other choices are silver, iron blue, snow white, and Danish purple. Other than black, my favorite is iron blue. You can import PSD, XCF, Sketch, and other image file types before you start editing. When you're finished with your project, your photos can be exported in a dozen formats, including JPEG, PNG, SVG, and many others. Like I said earlier, PhotoP has a high learning curve, but is capable of doing more than any other photo editor mentioned in this video after you learn how to use it. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. Subscribe and ring the bell for more top fives and other tech related stuff from Techumbo.